In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Excel's IF formula. This formula simply asks, if a certain criteria or condition is met, show me one response if it's true, or a different response if it's false. We're going to firstly ask, is the value in cell B4 equal to 1? If it is, we want to see the word yes, but if it isn't equal to 1, we want to show the word no. To do this, we select the cell that the response should appear in, C4 in this case. We then start typing equals, followed by the word if, and an open bracket to start the formula. We then left click the cell B4, type equals, and then 1, as we want to find out if it's equal to 1. To then move to the next part of the formula, we type a comma. We then want Excel to show us the word yes if this condition is true. When specifying any word or text, we need to put it in speech marks, like this speech mark, the word yes, and a closing speech mark. Again, to move on to the next part, we type a comma, and then we want Excel to show us the word no if B4 isn't equal to 1. So we use speech mark, the word no, and closing speech mark. To finish the formula, we do a closing bracket and press enter to see the result. We can see that B4 isn't equal to 1 as the word no appears. However, if we add 1 in, we then see it changes to word yes. We could change this to ask, actually, is B4 greater than 1? We get rid of equals, we do a greater than sign, press enter, and we see the word no appear. We could then change this to 2, and we'll see the word yes appear, because B4 is greater than 1. There are endless ways to use the if formula, so it's definitely worth exploring. I hope you find this useful. Please do like, comment and subscribe and feel free to drop me an email with any requests.